Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Before going to our today's topic, I should tell you that I'm not a native speaker. Maybe I make some mistakes. One of my viewers uh, commented me and said, you made a mistake at the beginning of your video. First, I have to tell you that mistakes doesn't matter. No one is perfect. But today, what I'm gonna tell you is the most common words and kind of recognized voiced that we should pronounce it in a right way. So if you are interested in, please watch this video to end. Let's get started. The first one is cupboard, cupboard, not cupboard. Uh, the P letter is silent in cupboard cupboard. In writing, uh, we write the P letter, but in pronunciation, we don't. American English is all about simplifying. If you say like cup bird, there is a little bit pause between cup and bird. And it's kind of hard to pronounce cup bird. It's easy to say cupboard. Uh, dropping P makes it a little bit fluid. Cupboard. I have the only key to this cupboard. The next one is Simon not salmon. Salmon is kind of fish with good quality and full of omega-3. This was for your general knowledge. Native speakers drop the L letter and pronounce it like salmon. Salmon, not salmon. It's salmon. The next one is, if you pronounce this word like Soviet or Soviet, it's wrong. The correct one is Soviet. Soviet, like Soviet Union. We almost know Russia, Soviet. Oh, it's the Soviet Union. The next one, GIF or GIF. GIF is a digital file format which pronounced GIF, not G-I-F, GIF. A GIF? Yeah. The next one, pizza, not pizza. I love pizza. Uh, just simply stop at the Z letter and add T letter in pronunciation. Pizza, pizza, add T before Z, pizza. But in writing, there is no T letter. Just spell it pizza. But in pronunciation, we say pizza, pizza. We're going out for pizza. How do you pronounce this? Often or often? So both of them are correct. You can use which one you like. I often come to this restaurant or I often come to this restaurant. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? The next one, how do you pronounce this word? Vegetable? If you pronounce it, it's wrong. The correct uh, pronunciation is vegetable, vegetable. We have just two syllables, veg and table. Vegetable, vegetable. I don't see some vegetable. Develop or develop. This word causes lots of problems for non-native speakers because of its stress. The stress is on the second syllable, on the V, not on the first syllable, D. Develop, develop, not develop or develop, something like this. Develop, develop. We must develop the Napoleon before he develops beef wellington. The next word is climb. If you pronounce climb, it's wrong. The correct one is climb, climb, without B at the end. Because we have two consonant letters next to each other and it's hard to pronounce climb. It's better to drop B letter at the end and say climb, climb. She taught me how to climb. How do you pronounce this? Sandwich? You were wrong. In sandwich, we just drop the D. D is silent, we don't pronounce D. We pronounce sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. But remember, most of these words that we drop some of their letters is just in speaking and in pronunciation, not in writing. When it comes to writing, we write sandwich. But in pronunciation, we drop the D letter and say sandwich, sandwich. Are you hungry, Frankie? I'll make you a sandwich. This word has a really hard pronunciation that most of the non-native English speakers say it in a wrong way, like February, there is something like this, it's really hard. But the correct pronunciation is February, 
The first R is silent. Uh, we can drop the first R, not February. February, February. This is the correct pronunciation. February. Just Joe, it's dated February the 2nd. The next one, how do you pronounce this word? If you say like jewelry, you're wrong. The correct pronunciation is jewelry. In pronunciation aspect, we change the first E letter to O letter, like jewelry, jewelry, not jewelry or jewelry, something like this. The correct one is jewelry. For example, this diamond ring is an expensive piece of jewelry. I want you to steal that jewelry. I love chocolate. If you pronounce like me, chocolate, you are definitely wrong. Remember, chocolate has just two syllables, chalk and lit. Chocolate, 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 not chocolate. The middle O doesn't pronounce. I heard it a lot between my friends that they say chocolate, chocolate, but we don't pronounce the uh, last O. Chocolate, the correct one is chocolate, chocolate. Do you want a chocolate? The next one is yacht, not yacht. We don't pronounce a CH word like yacht. The correct one is yacht. Of course, there are CH letters that the CH letters make the sound like ch, ch, but we don't pronounce it in this example, yacht. Yacht is incorrect. Just say yacht. Yacht is the correct one. He is the only one who can fix the yacht problems. You were on your yacht. Yeah. And now I'm gonna tell you two different words with different meaning, but kind of confusing. The first one is receipt. In this word, the P letter is not pronounced. Receipt, receipt, not received. The P letter is silent. Receipt, receipt. This is the receipt of the goods I have bought for you. This is a receipt. The second one is this word. How do you pronounce this? Recipe or receipt, both of them are wrong. The correct pronunciation is recipe, recipe. Recipe is a set of instructions or a list of ingredients for preparing a meal. Recipe, for example, could you please tell me the recipe of this delicious meal? I'm trying a new recipe. The next one is this word, pyramid or pyramid. This is wrong. The correct pronunciation is pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. On top of the pyramid for five goddamn years. The next one, guarantee or guarantee. First, let's talk about the pronunciation and then I will cover the definitions. Guarantee or guarantee, the first U is silent. We don't uh, pronounce like guarantee. Just drop the U letter and say guarantee. Guarantee. So the definition is guarantee with Y at the end. It's not a common use word in writing. It's mostly used in legal purposes. But guarantee with double E at the end is mostly used in all areas. I can guarantee your safety. The next word is Wednesday. D is not pronounced. Also the letter S we pronounce like Z letter. Wednesday. Wednesday, not Wednesday, Wednesday, something like this. Wednesday, Wednesday. Probably in spelling you write like Wednesday, but when it comes to speaking, don't say Wednesday. Say Wednesday, Wednesday. 900, no, make it 10 for Wednesday. Next one, apricot or apricot. Apricot is the British accent pronunciation and apricot is an American. But both of them are correct. You can say which one you like based on your mood. The apricot tart was especially fine. How do you pronounce this word? Herbal? It's wrong. Native speakers never pronounce uh, H in this example. The correct pronunciation is herbal. Herbal, not herbal. Without H. Herbal. Herbal. Herbal tea with honey. <laughs> the next one is this word. This word is difficult to pronounce it correctly because there are two sounds uh, which cause problems. TR sound and the final TH sound. I tell you a rule that every time you see a TH at the beginning or at the end of the words, it pronounced like this. 
uh, push your breath a little bit and without making any other sounds. Thought, thought. Like I said before that we have the TH sound at the end of the word. Truth, truth, not truth, not truth, truth. Because sometimes truth isn't good enough. And how to pronounce this? Donald Trump is wrong. We don't actually pronounce Donald. Of course, there is O after D letter, but we pronounce this like Donald, Donald, not Donald, Donald. And it's the same for McDonald, not McDonald or McDonald. The correct pronunciation is McDonald, McDonald or Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Why couldn't you have been more like Donald? Thanks for bearing me and watching this video up to end. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for my next video notification. And please motivate me with your likes and sharing my videos with your friends. Wish you the best.